as she rescues Scarlet and clear chapter 1. Unicorn Overlord opens up and allows you to decide how you want to tackle the rest of the game. The two main paths that they recommend you taking include Drakengard and Elheim. But which path should you take first? Before I give you all of my hot takes, if you already made this decision, which path did you pick and why? Let us know in the comments below. And as for my hot take, well, that depends. Drakengard is the traditional path that the game developers expect you to take, and Elheim seems to be the challenge route. The one big bias I have is that Drakengard houses the Colosseum, a PvP arena where you can earn coins to trade in for very powerful gear. If you're like me and you don't really have a PvP team just yet, or you don't really care about PvP at all, it is still worthwhile to participate just for the daily limit. You can partake in up to 10 battles a day, and at the end of the 10 battles, you are given 200 coins flat out regardless of if you win or lose. If you win, you'll gain some amount of coins, like around like 20-ish. If you lose, you lose nothing. So, just by breezing through 10 battles, if you don't care about it, you can get 200 coins a day, which can add up to quite a lot. The spicier items within the Colosseum shop are priced around 2,000 coins each. It's gonna take you around 10 days to start getting the good stuff. So the sooner you unlock the Colosseum, the better. But even with that said, I have an alternative suggestion for everybody. Start both routes, and then decide for yourself which storyline is more interesting to you. And if you ever get stuck on either path, that's a good excuse to start exploring the alternative path. The game does not lock you into any specific path. And I recommend this because stepping foot into each zone, right off the bat, you receive a unique and very powerful unit before taking on any fights. So why not recruit both before starting? Both of the units that you'll get are amazingly fun to build around. From the Drakengard path, you'll gain Virginia, a frontline powerhouse that possesses great physical attack and physical defense. She has many attacks that counter specific unit types like flyers and armored enemies, and she also comes baked in with the ability to counter attack from the get-go. By default, she is equipped with a shield that gives her plus one PP and a guard skill called Royal Guard, which allows her to block an attack with the medium guard while healing for 25% of her HP. By pairing her up with even more sustain from other equipments or back row units, she becomes an unkillable demon queen. And from the Elheim path, you gain Rosalind. Rosalind is an elven augur, which is a fun hybrid mix of a soldier and a witch. As a formation leader, she can provide magic assist to any allies in combat, and her kit is centered around disruption, general support, and summoning fairies to augment her skills. Right as you get her, she makes an excellent healer with a minor heal that cleanses all debuffs for a single ally, and a single target attack that, if she uses while she is at full HP, will generate her one extra PP and summon a fairy. These fairies won't make a big difference at first, as some of her innate skills that uses these fairies come at a much later level. She does come with a hybrid damage spear that not only freezes an enemy, but gains more damage as you have more summoned fairies. So there may be more equipment or accessories out there that make use of these summoned fairy mechanics. And we haven't even talked about the best part of Rosalind yet, her Valor skills. She has two of them, just like a witch, with one being a wait time cleanse for any ally around her. The next skill is going to be a very fun skill to experiment around, and it is placement swapping, which allows you to swap with any other ally on the map. This can be used offensively to fix bad matchups, or defensively to get your weaker units out of trouble. Whichever way you go, there's a lot of potential here for her skill. With all that said, there's absolutely no reason to not get both of them before starting down any one particular path, just so that way you can start leveling them up, and they're both really, really good. If this video was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more Unicorn Overlord content. For more tips, tricks, and other fun facts to help you through your journey, check out this video on screen right now.